I'll have to personally shout out Kaleem Kassam, even though he's not going to watch this video. But a few months ago on Twitter, he said that most people seem to fail to realize that discrimination and prejudice are the opposite thing. They're used as the same word when they're antithetical. When I think about it, we use prejudice a lot. We're a very prejudicial civilization. Egalitarianism, uh, its postmodern leftist connotations, masquerades prejudice hard. The idea that all men are assholes, that all women are beautiful, and if you disagree, you're fat, ugly, slut shaming. That all whites are privileged, and that all blacks are oppressed. And here's the issue where a conservative says, but I've gone through all these troubles, so I can't be a white conservative, of course. When I was raised in a poor trailer trash house with a meth-addicted parent, and then they fall into the trap of agreeing with the leftist premises, and that's where they ultimately lose embarrassingly. But that's not what we're talking about right here. <sighs> What we're talking about, what we're speaking about and discussing is the fact that all the races are equal. All the genders are equal. It's just layering and layering prejudices, you know, prejudging things without actually looking deeper, analyzing the differences, just holistically looking at the sub-similarities. And then, of course, if you point out a flaw in whatever protected caste they have, the blacks, you say, not all blacks are like this. This is where the faggy little discrimination comes in. When they finally start making some little differentiations, but it's all done in the vein of fake left-wing egalitarianism that is more about the destruction of all that is good and all that is a benefit for the sake of death and the detriment of our souls. <laughs> And if all women are beautiful, which you could make an argument for it, Irini makes a good argument for this, of all people. He says that when you break them down to a community of 100 or so people, all females do have a chance, they are presented as a chance of being beautiful, even when they are fat. If you're in a really small community, even the fatties will get love. You'll see some good in them. It's when we have places that move past that Dunbar unit where you have to start accounting for things like beauty. If she's beautiful, and she's beautiful, and they're vastly different. One has like a apple body and the other has an hourglass figure one girl has like a nasty ass beakish face like a beakish zit fill and shaggy if she looks like all the worst parts of me and she has my facial hair too, then... No. You have to start engaging 
in proper discriminations because guess what those are going to be accounted for if 2 plus 2 doesn't necessarily equal 4 it's going to be the same amount it's just going to be recorded as maybe 11 it's going to instead of being decimal it's going to go the binary direction or it's not one it's two plus I'm sorry it's a if one plus one doesn't necessarily equal two you have to go to binary direction and make it equal eleven or something because the amounts reality and all these things need to be accounted for they just need to be notated differently so when I have to agree that all girls are beautiful. The words I use to discriminate and to allow reality into my language are going to be different. Trying to get rid of discriminatory terms isn't going to happen. What we're having are more corroded left-wing replacements for ease. That's why you can make a statement saying you disagree with gay marriage and a liberal is going to call you a faggot and mock you hate. Do you hate gay marriage because you're a closet homosexual? That's so lame. Discrimination and drawing lines between people and things instead of all enveloping them all into one blanket term that's going to happen things like the dog species the human race and all these other blanket terms mixed with their specific terms that's going to become more and more an indicator that we're getting retarded as a people that we're not getting the language that we're not understanding things of this nature and reality is not going to change because our language changes we're just going to apply different words and different ideologies to that because ideology is built within language. It really is. It's like Grog said not too long ago, 2012. We may have to move out of English because a lot of what exists in English is predicated on nasty stuff nowadays. But I'm not going to go far side and say we should just get rid of English and that will grog because he considers English one of the best languages for amalgamating each and every other language. Okay guys, I'm done rambling. Y'all can go to hell. It's Mr. Wonka 7 and suck my dick.